Hello there! Coca-Cola have made a very well done rebranding with their new Hog logo and in this tutorial I will show how to make a reusable template for different logos that needs to be warped exactly this way. Let's get started. If we make a quick Google search for Coca-Cola Hog logo, we can see their new logo in different scenarios. It looks as if it bends around a can. A can is perfectly round, seen from the top. And that is why we will use a circle as a base for this kind of perspective. We divide the circle like a pizza and use the vertical lines here to create our template. If you don't quite get where I'm going with this, just follow along. We start by making a new document, file, new, why not use the HDTV 1080p preset? We don't need these guidelines, but we do need to know where the center of our document is. We go to View, New Guide Layout, Two Columns, and Two Rows, and tick Clear Existing Guides to remove the HD Save Guides, and then we press OK. Now we grab our elliptical marquee tool, place the cursor in the center, we press Alt or Option to center the circle and Shift to maintain a perfect circular shape. Let's make it as big as possible inside our canvas. Then we go to Edit, Stroke, let's use 5 pixels, color, black, location, inside, press OK and Command D to get rid of the matching ants. Then we add a new empty layer, Command Shift N, let's call it Line. And we take a regular hard brush, again 5 pixels in size, make a dot here on the left hand side and another dot here on the right hand side while pressing Shift. Now we have our first horizontal line inside our circle. We copy the line layer, Command J, and then we press Command T to transform, and we rotate while pressing Shift to jump in 15 degrees intervals. We go for 30 degrees, then we make another copy, rotate 30 degrees, and we continue all the way around till we have made all the dividers. Now we can merge all our layers for a more simple layer panel. We just want the pizza. Next step is to drag new guidelines to all the places where the lines intersect with the circle. We drag the guides from the rulers, and if the rulers are not visible, press Command or Control R. In older versions of Photoshop, you need to have Move Tool active when dragging. These vertical lines will be our bending guides or warping guides later on. Now we add a new layer, Command Shift N, and with the rectangular marquee tool, we select the outer boundaries and fill with a vibrant color. We press Shift Backspace, click on Color, let's use Red. Then we select every other area. Be sure Add to Selection is active, and fill with a complementary color. Let's use a light green. Now we have created our bending guide. Time to create what will be our smart object container where we can place our text or logo later on. First a new layer. We go to view to make a new guide layout. Six columns and four rows. Tick clear existing guides. Then we select every other square, fill with black. We can use command backspace if black is our background color. Select inverse, that's command shift I, and press X to change foreground color to background color. And fill the rest with white, command backspace again. And deselect, command D. This will be our placeholder for the text. We convert it to a smart object so we can work non-destructively and we can clear the guides. Time to warp. 
This is definitely the most difficult part of the process, so use the time needed to come as close to the warping guide as you can. We'll dial down the opacity to around 50%, so we can see both layers equally good. Press Command T and click on the warp symbol. The more time spent here, the better the result. Easy does it. When we are happy with the warping, we bump up the opacity again. Now all the hard work is over and we can harvest the fruits of a well done job. I have actually made a background image similar to the one we saw earlier when we googled Coca-Cola Hot logo and I will copy and paste it underneath our warped smart object. Let's double click the smart object to open it and in this case I add a neutral gray layer so we better can see our upcoming text. This is not mandatory but nice to have. And let's also clear the guides for a clean workspace. I'm not sure if I violate some copyright rules if I use the actual Coca-Cola logo, so let's just use a similar type. We can for example use Sign Painter House Script. We choose white letters and a little to the right. And let's expand it to almost fill the template. Now when we close and save the smart object, we have a perfectly bended logo. And the good thing is, it's still editable. So if we for instance want to remove the space between coca and cola and make the type a little bigger, it's perfectly fine. Close and save. Or we can try out different fonts and colors without having to re-warp one more time. If warping templates is of your interest, you can continue watching how to put a logo on a mug, or you can of course subscribe if you like my content. Thank you and goodbye.